Next up, we have Jade. All right, so today I'm going to be telling you about sandstorms. Uh, so yeah, I, I used to be here, and uh, I'm going to be telling you about what I've been working on lately. So sandstorm is a radically easier way to run a personal cloud. Uh, think of basically Google Docs, except running on hardware that you control and supporting arbitrary apps from arbitrary developers. Now, one of the really awesome things about S Sandstorm, aside from you know using Meteor, because um, our user interface is built with Meteor, is we have a special tool that makes it super easy to port Meteor apps. Um, and so today, I'm going to show you a demo of some of the Meteor apps um, that we've recently added to Sandstorm. Um, first, uh, Telescope. So this is actually spinning up a, a, an entirely um, new instance of Telescope. And, uh, and Telescope, as some of you might already be familiar with, is a clone of, uh, of Reddit or Hacker News, except real time and made with Meteor. And, uh, and in fact, if I go back here and I go to Telescope and run new Telescope, this will actually give, this is running a whole new instance of Telescope. And actually, we're using Telescope internally at Sandstorm, a, a slightly modified version of Telescope, um, to run our app committee voting app. And this is uh, basically some of the folks who supported our crowdfunding campaign have been voting for apps to be ported to Sandstorm. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is Pintask. Um, so here we go. Oops, sorry. I meant to, yes. Uh, Pintask is a clone of Trello that's made with Meteor. Um, and it's, it's awesomer because you can, because <laughs> you know, it's reactive in real time. If I, if I, if I sent you this uh, URL, you could actually move around tasks uh, with me. Um, and this is just you know, an example list of tasks for uh, getting Sandstorm's uh, Indiegogo campaign off the ground. And, uh, and yeah, uh, Pintask will soon be available in the Sandstorm App Store, app list, uh, our makeshift app store. And um, yep, if, and oh yeah, and we also ported Wave a while back, even though it's not a Meteor app. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if, you, uh, if there are any Meteor apps that you would like to see ported to Sandstorm, and especially if they're open source, let us know. Uh, please get in touch. Uh, if you want to port it yourself, uh, that's the URL for the, for the tool. Um, it's, it's literally like one line, and it ports the entire Meteor app. So yeah, any questions? for Jade. So you post the actual application, what happens to the data? If, uh, if I spin up a telescope instance there, how do I get to the actual content of that instance later? Um, so you, c so, Thank you. Uh, how do I get to the data in my uh, instance of Telescope? Um, so as you might see, there's a, there's a little button here. This, uh, this allows you to back up or download the, uh, download the data that's inside, the, uh, that's inside that particular app. And this is above every single um, app, basically. And uh, eventually, we'll push out features in Sandstorm that, that you know, make, make it much easier and simpler to bundle your entire user space. But um, in the short run, that's what we got. Yes? What if I don't have the application developer? Pardon? What if I don't have the person who developed the application? Uh, that is a great question. Uh, the question was, what if I don't trust the application developer? Uh, well, that's it's great that you're choosing Sandstorm, because Sandstorm runs each application in a secure sandbox. Um, I could go into that in more detail, but uh, basically the apps are all in isolated containers, and they don't get to talk to the world until uh, we, you know, until you give it specific, um, very specific instructions to do that. Thank you. All right.